Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's an Eastern Conference battle here at the Air Canada Centre in downtown Toronto as the Raptors look to work their home court advantage. Sit back and enjoy this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Our sideline reporter tonight is David Aldridge. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, Kevin, Tristan Thompson is one of the elite offensive rebounders in the league. He said, for me, it's always see ball, get ball, and just bring the energy and be that guy that when I check in, guys on the other team are like, oh, no, he's here tonight? That's my mentality. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., and clearly Thompson knows his role on this team. Got to admire how hard he goes on the glass. Good offensive matchup tonight in what should be a high-scoring game. Doris, how can one team gain an advantage here? Well, to me, it's always about a level of physicality, a willingness to get big stops, and then you've got to go convert on the other end. Boys, nice and high. It'll be the Raptors off the tip. Look at Cleveland's starting group. LeBron and Crowder, the tandem at forward. Thomas and Smith teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Love in at the center. Here's Ananobi. There's the dish to DeRozan. Over LeBron. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. That area, Kev, that in-between game between the post and three-point line, that's where players like DeMar make their living. Love with the screen for LeBron. From the arc. And that's good. Kevin Love for three. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Right. The effort could have been so much better. You've got to be willing to fight through that screen. There's no question about it. Miles with his screen on Thomas. Kicks to DeRozan. Unloads from nine. And he hits the jump shot. DeRozan's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, he's such a smart offensive player. DeMar DeRozan knows the best option there is the quick release on the catch and shoot. Screen by Smith. The shot misses. And Toronto will come the other way. Right outside. DeMar DeRozan on the wing. Pass to Valanciunas. Back to DeRozan. Over Smith. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Six points for DeMar DeRozan. In the corner, Crowder with it. A second chance effort, James. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Amazing persistence from LeBron James. This guy does not quit on the glass. Down low, here's Miles, and then C.J. Miles with the dunk. I love to see them pounded inside like that, not settling for the perimeter shot. It's a pick by Love. Outside Crowder. James in the post. It's deflected. Here's DeRozan. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Right outside, six to shoot, and it's Valanciunas that time on the assist by Wright. Impressive start here. That's five straight makes to start the game. The Cavaliers trail by five. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Well, Valanciunas reads the play and snuffs it out. That's the kind of defense you need from the five spot. Screen by Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on love. Here's DeRozan. Here's Valanciunas. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Thomas against Wright. Thomas dishes to Smith. Now here's James. Not a lot of room. Shoots from the elbow. 
Bounces high off the rim and drops. Well, LeBron's going to put in work from the mid-range if you start to give him that kind of space. Screen by Valanciunas. And DeRozan kicks to Valanciunas. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. It's a pick by Love. Miles against Crowder. Love with the screen for Crowder. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Uh, Jay Crowder, such an efficient scorer, right, guys? I mean, this is one of the league's best finishers, especially for a guy 6'6". And Doris, the three-pointer, a big part of Crowder's offensive game. Well, no doubt. He's gotten better and better from out there. When you're shooting around 40% from deep range, that's getting it done. He misses the free throw. And Dwayne Casey, known as a grinder, pound the rock, uh, Doris, is his motto. Well, along those lines, how about this? In college, he actually worked in a coal mine in order to get the money to buy a car. Hard work indeed. And we're not talking just any car. It was a 70s white coupe with swivel seats. How cool is that for a young guy? And one of the focuses for Cavs coach Teron Liu has been looking to integrate Doris, Kevin Love, more consistently into their offense. Right, because Kevin Love showed in Minnesota he could be a go-to scorer. In Cleveland, he's how to figure out how to be effective as the third option. But if you're Ty Liu, you want to keep your superstars involved and engaged, Kev. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of this game. And, and how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And you look at the Raptors, one of the top teams in the East, Greg, but do they have a chance to go all the way? I think they're a threat to make the finals. Can, can they win it all? Uh, they may be a piece or two away, but still a young and aggressive core. They continue to try to add pieces, and this is a group that has proven they want to win and win now. And the second free throw, good. You know, without a lot of shot blocking on the interior, the Cavs play a very conservative defensive style. A low rate of steals. They want to stay in front and prevent penetration. Toronto leading by six. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Better to be lucky than good. That pass was just deflected and not stolen. Dodge the bullet there. Off the inbound, and the nice bucket inside from DeRozan. DeRozan's got eight points. And for the Cavs, some defensive regression from a top 10 defense in 2016 doors to a bottom 10 last year. Yeah, it's hard to dispute the notion that their offense carried them. Now, some would attribute that to coasting in the regular season, but still, their aim was to win it all, and tough to do that if you don't defend at a high level. The Raptors have gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out very strong. Miles against Crowder. The offensive rebound. Yes, that goes in. Eight points for Valanciunas. Well, Jonas Valanciunas has the instincts, the size, and the smarts to go ahead and take advantage of those missed shots and create them into points. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Right outside. Pass to Miles. They set the pick. Poked away. James in the post. And James throws it down. 
Yeah, when LeBron James is fighting his way through contact, he makes it look so easy. Raptors leading by five. Now, right. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Miles kicks to DeRozan. And there's the pass to Ananobi. Six to shoot. Screened by Valanciunas. Shot from the top of the key. That's short off the rim. The Cavaliers trail by five. Three-pointer. And Wright pulls it down. Outside DeRozan. Here's Valanciunas. He can't get that one. Great tee that time from Love. Cleveland's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. And so here's Toronto. The kick out to right. All sorts of time. And James pulls it down. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Thomas gets the bucket. Just an example of what sets LeBron apart from everyone else. The ability to set up his teammates for easy scores while being so dominant himself. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Andor is one thing we've seen with LeBron. He's not shy putting pressure on the franchise when it comes to personnel decisions. Right, Kev. This guy is very serious about winning championships. LeBron James expects support from ownership in terms of acquiring the right pieces, and he keeps his contract short with a purpose. That exerts leverage to be in position to win. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Green comes in for LeBron. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Thomas. Now here's Wade. Here's Wade. Green, the screen. And here's Love from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Love's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. And for the Raptors, they're shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Started by Green. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. And the Raptors lead by two. And already you're seeing great execution from both teams. Well, I like the synergy, right? The ball is moving well, and they're seeing that hard work pay off. Now here's Green. Hangs. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. We have a number of young teams in the league doors with a lot of talent, but not many wins. Still in the process of learning how to win. What can a, a coach do to keep them competent and inspire them through the tough times, the growing pains? You know, Kev, I think one thing you always hear coaches talk about is the process, and you can't skip steps. And so I think if you throw yourself into trying to get better every single day and I would say look no further than Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook who started their careers on an Oklahoma City team that barely broke double digit wins in the NBA but both were diligent both kept to the course and both continued to work hard and now you've got two guys who really are MVP level kind of guys and don't you see the stair step too for a guy like Kawhi Leonard who every year picks up something different to do to enhance his overall game you know that's a great point the Spurs would tell you they built his game brick by brick the Raptors making a switch here Van Vliet's checked in a switch here also for Cleveland Corbis checked in no good on the second free throw and what a terrific fan base for the Raptors third highest attendance in the league well visiting players will talk about how loud they get Kev and think about it even on the road a lot of the Raptors fans will make their presence felt active Alan Junis 11 feet away and that's good for two now it's a four-point Raptor lead I, I love his shot selection today he set the bar for the rest of the team there's the pick. Love with the screen for Wade. They kick it out to Green. Love trying to break loose. And Green with the basket on the assist by Wade. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Van Vliet passes to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Powell. 
Passes it to Van Vliet over Wade. And it comes off the front of the rim. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. That's a pick by Love. Now here's Wade. He's guarded closely. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Toronto trailing. Dishes it to Powell. There's the feed to Miles. Screen by Valanciunas. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Five on the clock. The shot by Powell, no good. Cleveland's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Feeds to Crowder. He kicks to Wade. Outside, Green. It's a pick by Love. Love with the screen for Green. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And the dunk by Love. Boy, Kev, how about the recognition of Kyle Korver? Puts the pass on time and on target. Makes it an easy opportunity for his teammate. Now, here's Valanciunas. He's got 10. Shot to stop the run, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Valanciunas out of Lithuania, the fifth overall pick back in 2011. Yeah, he's still quite young. You know, a lot of talent offensively. Defensively, he's probably had less of an impact, but that's where he has to take the next step. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, the Raptors have been a top-tier team in the East. There's no question about it. You think back to 2014, maybe a rebuild. They trade away Rudy Gay. Kyle Lowry, there was some talk of him going to the Knicks. That falls through. All of a sudden, the team starts winning, and they haven't looked back. And he sinks the second. And you talk about the Raptors front office, very progressive and very aggressive. Uh, Doris, they're willing to take a risk in pursuit of a title. Well, they have excellent leadership at the top, and it's a group that prioritizes winning. They are willing to be aggressive in the acquisition of talent, and they are always in search of pieces that will improve their roster. Just doing the job on the backboard. Pass to Van Vliet. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. In the corner, Powell with it. Pass to Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. Almost like he was anticipating the play call, right? You love the hustle. Wade misses. Boy, just enough defensive attention to throw that shot off target. Now the pass to Van Vliet. Valanciunas dishes to Powell. Passes to Van Vliet. Over Green. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Cavaliers lead by two. We'll be back shortly live from the Air Canada Centre in downtown Toronto. And we got a chance to hear from LeBron James about the hard work and preparation he brings into every game. I go back and I'm able to, um, you know, read the scout report, you know, and, and also when I get to the arena, I also watch more film on, on each and every guy that's going to be playing. Um, guys that I know I may be, um, you know, matched up against, you know, throughout the night. So um, I'm not surprised by anything if it happens throughout the game. So um, it's a lot of preparation that goes in, you know, to just one game, just trying to get one win, but that's what it takes in the NBA. I think you'd have to say the preparation really shows on the court in his play, and rarely 
does he look surprised out there or caught off guard? And, and Kevin, that's really just the mark of a total pro. And, and I don't think oftentimes the fans appreciate how much goes in in terms of preparation. Some guys get it and some guys don't. But, but he's a perfect example of what proper preparation means in terms of preventing a poor performance. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Well, I mean, they just got hot early from beyond the arc, and, and we'll just have to wait and see if they can keep that going. You just try to keep riding this wave, right? They've been absolutely dominant from three-point territory. On the floor for Cleveland, getting going here in the second. Thomas and Corver, the guard tandem. LeBron and Thompson are up front, and it's Green in at the three spot. Cleveland leading by four. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, it may not be the era of the center in the NBA, but Jonas Valanciunas has something to say about that. He said, I try to make sure they don't forget about centers. I'll keep reminding them. The league is full of guys that can do different things, but I still think you need a center that can rebound the ball and score in the low post. I agree. Kevin? Well, the centers are still important, David. Good to see Valanciunas making his presence felt in the paint. throw good Thomas Doris we've heard plenty of coaches say it if you're going to take it to the rack man take it strong who would you say are some of the more uh, aggressive dunkers that you see in the NBA now yeah so on his own uh, creating his own opportunities at the rim Russell Westbrook comes to mind LeBron James um, sometimes I feel like he's going to tear the backboard from the stanchion <laughs> DeAndre <laughs> Jordan and Andre Drummond sometimes are the recipients of either offensive rebounding put back great dunks there are so many Kev, but those are just a couple of names that pop and the Antetokounmpo kid in Milwaukee the way he is so long and seemingly out of place and then all of a sudden those arms extend another three feet and he dunks it you go what how in the world did he reach it how did he do that the guy is like he's a pterodactyl the guy can take off from the top of the key and cover ground and throw it down it's unbelievable Oof. man now here's Thomas Nogueira pulls it in the only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. And the rejection by James. Corver gets a wide open look. Offensive rebound. Can't cash in from close range. Thompson misses. After his trail by six. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's the screen. Here's DeRozan. It's stolen by Green. DeRozan against Corver. He feeds it to LeBron. Shoots over Powell. And another miss by Cleveland. The Raptors have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. The dish to DeRozan. Nogueira gets a screen for DeRozan. Shot to end this cold run. Changes up. LeBron with the block. Don't bring that weak stuff in here. LeBron always on the prowl to send shots back with force. Now here's Paul. Guarded by Green. Van Vliet kicks to Paul. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. DeRozan against Corver. Shot from 12. Another miss by DeRozan. Maybe not that time, but he'll hit more than his share if he's left open. Corver passes to Thomas. The screen from Thompson. And here is Thomas. From deep three point range. Can't hit that one. And Toronto will come the other way. Van Vliet kicks to Nogueira. 
They set the pick. The feed to Powell. Wants to get it to DeRozan and does. Here's Siakam. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Well, so rewarding for a player to beat everybody to the basketball and convert that second chance bucket. James. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Guys, how lucky are we that we watch LeBron James steadily climb the all-time scoring ranks, right? This guy last season, he passes the great Moses Malone and Shaquille O'Neal. Truly incredible. free throw no good and LeBron Doris presently in the top seven in career scoring do you think he can ever reach number one Kevin if this guy set out to be the leading scorer in NBA history he has the physical abilities to do that but this is a guy who wants to be defined as maybe the most complete player to ever play he contributes with his scoring with his passing with his defense he is one of the all-time greats well, you look at the Cavs offense, right? It's all about drive and kick. They put the ball into the hands of LeBron and space the floor with that shooting. It's a sort of pick your poison situation. Now here's DeRozan. He's got eight, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. And the Cavs last season first in the league in catch and shoot three pointers made. Right, number one, Kevin, in corner threes, and that was by a big margin. They put the ball in the hands of their stars and then positioned shooters around those two. Boy, ran his man right into the pick and got the open look. Basketball 101. Here's Van Vliet. He's guarded by Thomas. Here's DeRozan. And again, it's Toronto converting. <laughs> My goodness, Kevin, it doesn't get much more efficient than that. DeMar DeRozan capable of these kind of outbursts. The screen from Thompson. Thompson sets the pick for Green. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Green's got the lead back up to six now for the Cavs. Pass to Ananobi. Kicks it to DeRozan over Corver. DeRozan's shot is off. Well, despite his struggles from the field in this period, you know he's going to keep asking for the basketball. James right side. The screen from Thompson. Shot off the pick. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Pass to Ananobi. He dishes a two to Rosen. Here's Ananobi. Siakam passes to DeRozan. And they double up DeRozan. Here's Nogira. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, guys, really good court vision, allowing DeRozan to make that pass. You know, he sees the play developing way in advance. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And DeRozan signing a big contract extension to stay in Toronto Doris the summer of 2016. Right, Kev. When he did that, it was the second largest contract in league history. And the guy didn't even take an interview with another organization. He said, I am Toronto. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for the Raptors. 
Wade. He's checked in for Cleveland. On the wing, Dwayne Wade. Corver dishes to James. Outside Corver fires the three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Yeah, coming off that screen, wide open, just can't convert. And I think, Greg, that's exactly what you want. The screen was solid. The execution shots, just gentlemen. fell a little bit short on the shot. And, and really, DeMar DeRozan is a master at what he calls body hunting. That, that ability to just kind of draw a foul. I think he and James Harden actually are the guys that have really kind of set the tone for how to create those opportunities to get to the line. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And DeMar DeRozan always, Greg, among the league leaders in free throw attempts. And when you look at him, 6'7", 220 pounds with tremendous athleticism. He has got all the tools. Beyond, though, that attack mentality, he's a savvy basketball player. Those little shot fakes, his footwork helped this guy live at the line. Doors, back in college, you earned a master's in education. How close were you to pursuing that path versus veering into becoming an analyst for basketball? Games? Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I always felt like I would be a high school teacher and a basketball coach, and someday maybe I'll coach a boys' high school basketball team. Very close, Kevin. I happened into broadcasting. I left coaching at Providence College. They put their women's basketball games on radio, and that was my entree into the business, and slowly but surely, it grew every year. But still educating still right I mean don't you feel there's there's a part of education to be an analyst oh there's no question about it you are trying to help that viewer to be as close to the action as we are fortunate enough to be and sure just describing what's going on it's a lot of fun you are a PhD in broadcasting <laughs> and it's the Cavaliers with the ball outside green Cleveland moving it around and it's Thompson with the jam and what about the strength from Thompson there to go up, take the hit, still convert the play? Nice. Well, we the North starting to turn out some players, right? Out of Toronto, Canada, Tristan Thompson. He doesn't have the most expansive offensive skill set, but guys, his motor is as good as it gets. the free throw no good and Thompson one of the most relentless rebounders in the NBA well this is the elite skill he brings to the table his durability and nightly effort on the boards make him a hugely valuable player worthy of that contract layup off the pick count that one and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just six in the basket from Pirtle Wade kicks to love and there's the foul. It goes on C.J. Miles. That's foul number two for him. I'll tell you, with that being a second foul, now you've got to be more careful. You can't give the officials any excuse to whistle him for number three before the end of this half. Now, here is Smith. Tight defense on him. Free throw line jump shot. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Smith. James has got the lead up to eight now for the Cavs. Toronto shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. DeRozan passes to right, dishes it to Miles. Floats one, and it's right missing. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Smith dishes to Wade. That's a pick by Love. Wade kicks to Corver. Feeds to James. Six on the shot clock. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. 
This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Performed well thus far this season with a 78% clip. Free throw good, LeBron. And the Raptors unique in the NBA. They have a whole nation behind them. <laughs> and basketball continues to gain in popularity, especially with the younger generation in Canada. Uh, the Raptors are coming to relevance at the perfect time. And the rabid fan base energized by how competitive this group's been the last couple seasons. Yep, that one goes. And that's 10 points for Love. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside time out, time out. and go strong to the rim. And the Raptors Start. call time here. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. You know, it's interesting. Kevin Love almost two different players, right, guys? I mean, a bruising offensive rebounder who can battle inside, but also a skilled perimeter shooter. That's a rare combination. Here is Miles. Right outside. Inside. Here's DeRozan, and the rejection by Smith. Nice shot by Pirtle. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Wade with it. Outside Korver. James against Miles. And here's Korver from the arc. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got five assists in the game. The Raptors shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. And the three-point shot is a growing part of Kevin Love's game. Well, I think it's certainly something he's added since coming to the NBA. From barely shooting any early on in his career where he was a flat back-to-the-basket scorer, now three-pointers account for almost half of his field goal attempts. And Toronto making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Crowder's checked in. Tipped away. The pass to Ananobi. Shot clock at five. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Let's it fly from 18. No good on the shot. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jump. Raptors trail by 14. He kicks it to right. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And defensively, just giving up the high percentage look down low. Not a lot of aggressiveness from the defense right there. You didn't put up enough fight early to keep him from scoring in the post. Now here's Crowder looking for his first basket still in this one. Wade has the open look. And another three for Cleveland. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. To the middle. Outside Corver. Down low. Crowder the pass to Smith. Back to Crowder. Right against Wade. Shot clock at six. Over right. And it's Wade again missing. They're fortunate to be in front given how shaky he's been from the floor tonight. That's tipped. They're running. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. But they'll get another chance. Now here is Smith. D right on him. Pass to Corver. Wade right side. And it's Wade again missing. Well, can't find the target, but good work to get into open space inside the arc. 
And so it's Cleveland. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. From one Kevin to another, you guys were dominant in that first half and you have a big lead, but do you forget about that in the second half? Oh, yeah. We got to treat it like a 0 0 game. I know we're going to say in the locker room, we got to come out and win the third quarter. If we do that, we feel like we'll be okay. But like I said, this team is tough. We know they're capable of coming back. Well, we'll see what happens, Kevin. Thanks. And now back to the other Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, show. folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We're going to break down all the action from the first half. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 14 points, three block shots, and five assists. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and drilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench. And these guys delivered. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it started to look like warm-up drills. They cannot be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They got to make life tougher on those outside shooters. And that's all we can do for now. As the second half begins, we get you back to Kevin Harlan. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows. Cleveland leading by 15. While we've got a moment, let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Raptors. White is out there with DeRozan. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's C.J. Miles. And it's on an OB in at the three. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Raptors coach Dwayne Casey talked about the chemistry on his team. He said, we couldn't be better. There's no ego, no hidden agendas. Guys understand their roles. Kyle Lowry told me, we're a complete team, 15 deep, and we really mean that. You never know whose time it's going to be. Kevin? And D.A. depth is a crucial part of any team's success. No one you can rely on your teammates to step up is huge. And James throws it down. It doesn't come as any surprise so far in this game that LeBron's stamp is all over. It's simply a dominant player. Here's the screen. Wright sets a screen. There's the dish to DeRozan. The baseline J. Yep, it counts. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, Kev, I love his game. He can hurt you in so many different ways. Crowder goes in. Outside for Thomas. Knocks down the three ball. And the Cavaliers lead by 16. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Miles against Crowder. DeRozan in a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. J.R. Smith picks one up. Well, that's really good work inside from DeMar DeRozan. You know, he knows how to get position where a defender is almost forced to foul him. And LeBron James putting a lot of pressure on the Cavs to surround him with the talent to compete. Doris, yet right at the draft and start a free agency. The team going in a new direction in the front office. Right, you're talking about a case of bad timing. Stars like Paul George and Jimmy Butler changing teams. You have to question the thinking to allow that front office turmoil at such a critical juncture. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. So twice, right, Kevin? DeMar DeRozan's been a member of the United States national team, the 2014 World Cup, Rio Olympics, both golds. Pretty good start for him. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Cavaliers leading by 14. Now here's James. 16 points for him. Screened by Smith. 
And the dunk by James. Amazing. Even a little bit off target. LeBron knows how to finish the alley-oop. Great way to see the alley-oop. That replay courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Alan Junis against Love. Alan Junis, that's a screen for Miles. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Here's Thomas. James outside. Screen by Smith. James outside. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, we know every game LeBron is going to find his way to the line just from his aggressive style. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. LeBron James is consistent enough at the line where he'll make you pay most times if you're going to send him there. And both free throws good for LeBron. Raptors trail by 18. And the Raptors call time here. And look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Yeah, and he's been taking it to the rack all game. And they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Wright dishes to Miles. Pass to Ananobi. Screened by Valanciunas. And Miles kicks to Valanciunas. And it's good. Two points. Valanciunas has got 13 points. Marvelous start to the second half. Three for three. Here's James. 20 points for him. And they double up James. Love the pass to Thomas. Smith for three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside DeRozan. Right dishes to Miles. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. And so he earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Well, the Lithuanian seven-footer, Jonas Valanciunas, very effective scoring at the rim. He can get you buckets on the low block. He's an excellent finisher in the pick and rolls. A lot to like about this guy. Two shots. Relax on the first. First free throw is good. And Valanciunas, a tremendous offensive rebound. And that's important, Kevin, because so much of their offense flows through that tremendously talented backcourt. If Valanciunas wants more touches, he's got to go and create them. And he makes both free throws. Well, Kevin, the fifth overall pick back in 2011, Valanciunas has worked so hard to improve his entire game. I'll tell you, it's paid off, Kevin. He can impact a game in a lot of different ways. Thomas, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Way to attack there and then create the contact. The Raptors have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. Two. 
And the first one at the line is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Doris, coming into the NBA Love's game was centered around the basket, a double-double machine. Well, think about this, Kev. One of five players in the last three decades to average over 15 rebounds for an entire season. He did that in 2011. And he still remains a factor on the boards because he's got terrific understanding of positioning and great lower body strength. Just five to shoot. The feed to Miles. Shoots. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. It's a pick by Love. Thomas kicks to Crowder. He feeds it to LeBron. A three ball. Shot by Crowder, no good. Raptors trail by 13. Right outside. Kicks it to DeRozan. Over Smith. And the rejection by Smith. That one goes in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Screen by Smith. James kicks to Thomas. Over DeRozan. Here's Love. Another shot. He lays it in. Love's got 12 points in the game. You know, to me, guys, the possession there was all about the perseverance by Love on the offensive glass. Oh, Just a out, force out. to be reckoned with. And the Raptors call right. time here. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Well, I think during this timeout, they've got to talk about ways to deny the basketball to him. That's the key, because when he gets it, chances are he's going to score. Outside DeRozan. Alan Junis with a screen on love. Lock at six. Screen by Valen Junis. Right. That's a two-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Crowder's got four rebounds now tonight. In the corner, it's James. And they double him up with LeBron. Smith for three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi's got his fourth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Valanciunas. They double him with love. From the baseline, here's Ananobi, and he uses the glass on the layup. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Timeout time called out, time out. Cleveland. And guys, you know, you never run out of Art things that you can improve upon. I think, Greg, it's important to keep that hunger, right? You're always striving to get better and to change things up.
Siakam has checked in for C.J. Miles. Osman guarded by Wright. Love outside. Clock at six. Pass to Crowder. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. James has got eight points here in this quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Alan Junis, that's a screen for right. Here's Ananobi. DeRozan with it. Guarded now by Kevin Love. From the top of the key. Rebound by Smith. The Cavaliers leading by 13. Lots of room. No good off the back of the rim. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Right outside. Outside DeRozan. It's stolen by Smith. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Dishes it to Crowder. It's a pick by Love. Back to Crowder. Just five to shoot. Feeds it to LeBron. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, Cavs coach Teron Liu grew up in the small town of Mexico, Missouri. He saw it all at a young age, good and bad. Powell, he's checked in for Toronto. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Korver against DeRozan. He trains the quick shot. DeRozan's got 10 points here in the second half. Dominating this quarter. He's been absolutely fantastic shooting the ball, and they still trail. It's a pick by Love. LeBron kicks to Love. Back to James. That's in there. Love with the assist. James has got 25 points. And Coach Teron Liu credits the influence of his hometown on teaching him how to live life. All right, Kev. He says it taught him the things to do and the things not to do in life. He was straight as an arrow during his pro career. Never once got a technical in 11 years of playing. Quite remarkable. Cavaliers with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. Osman guarded by Wright. The pass to James. Shoots the three. And another three for Cleveland. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. Powell kicks to Siaka. Right outside. Screened by Valanciunas. The 10-footer. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Wright's got his second basket of the game crafty move he recognizes the size disadvantage and the mid-range is close enough I'll tell you that's really clever because it's not easy to get that mid-range off over a guy who's got a size advantage he made it look easy Raptors trail by 15 now Powell he hasn't scored yet that I'm sure will change Powell with the screen and Wright kicks to Powell He's off on that one. James with some nice D. Cleveland leading by 15. The three from Corver. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And that's now six points for Kyle Corver. The Raptors have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting eight of 15. Powell with the screen. 121 left in the third quarter of the game. Screen by Valanciunas. Right. That's a two-pointer. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Well, this is a tough night so far. They'd be smart to rely more on a couple of their other options. 
And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, you guys know, Love knows how to find the contact when he wants to. Good job getting to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and just a top-notch free throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw good from Kevin Love. Well, he has a knack for getting to the free throw line, and once he's there, odds are pretty good he's making them. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Passes it to Powell. 54 seconds left to play in the third. He tries for three. Good on the triple. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Wade kicks to Green. Love with the screen for Green. Teardrop shot. And the layup is up and in. Green's got nine. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way two up shots, that gentlemen. time. So he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, easy call. The Raptors have made a little more than half their free throws today. 7 of 12. And the free throw drops for Nogueira. James checked in for Cleveland. Thomas comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Nogueira drops them both. Cleveland leading by 17. And here's Corver. He's got six. Thomas a screen. Corver passes to LeBron. Another three for Cleveland. Remarkable catch and shoot sequence right there from LeBron. Just a killer instinct whenever he gets the ball. And so it's Cleveland controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And from the most recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Dwayne Casey. But, man, we got to get down and get engaged until the end. All right, be precise. Send the ball to the screen. Come across the screen. I focus on the defense again. Let's go. There you are, Dwayne Casey, asking for more precision on offense and more attention to detail on defense. Well, yeah, carry out your assignments on both ends. Do the little things that ultimately make a big difference in the outcome of a game. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Green is out there with Jay Crowder. Then there's Kyle Corbin. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Wade in at the one spot. Well, Kev, this team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. 
Corver dishes to Wade. The screen from Thompson. Wade outside. From the line. Here's Thompson. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Uh, Thompson, he has such a low, wide base. He is near impossible to fully box out. Powell with it. Now Green defending. Back to Powell. There's the screen. Shoots over Corver. That one a little long. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Crowder kicks to Corver. The screen from Thompson. Back to Crowder. Takes a three. Knocks down the three ball. We know this. Jay Crowder is an effective shooter. Someone who can shoot the three well. You've got to get into his space. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Hurdle kicks to Powell. Pass to Siakam. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Cleveland leading by 21. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Green inside. Six to shoot. Thompson up top. Looking to get back on track here. And it's in there. And it's seven points for Wade. And, and you got to like the touch there from Wade inside. A polished interior scorer who knows how to get to his sweet spot. Siakam passes to Powell. Off the mark and a bad shot there. The Cavaliers have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Green dishes to Thompson. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Wait up top. Takes the three. And that one is off. I'll tell you, they've had to look elsewhere for their scoring, and they've gotten it. This guy has had very little impact on the game offensively. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Looking for Crowder. He gets it there. That shot off. Tries a three. No good on that one. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Outside, Green. Wade with it. Thompson outside. They set the pick. On the wing, Green. Shoots from 14. Rebound by the Raptors. Siakam's got four rebounds in this game. It's Pirtle top of the key. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Siakam. He's covered by Thompson. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. The Raptors making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. Then for the Cavaliers, James comes in for Jay Crowder. And Isaiah Thomas subbed in for Dwayne Wade. From the inbound. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, starting to look like it's taking its toll mentally. He doesn't look like himself. Outside for Thomas. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Toronto's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Van Vliet. He kicks it to Powell. Now the pass to Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Hit that. 
and it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Thomas gets a wide open look. Again, Thomas missing. And for the Raptors, they're shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Cleveland with the ball. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. Now here's Thomas. Double team on Thomas. LeBron outside. Shoots over Pirtle. They get the rebound. Thompson. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Yeah, there are several ways that Thompson can be a factor on the offensive end, and he is still adding to that arsenal. And DeRozan kicks to Pirtle. There's the dish to Powell. It's Pirtle top of the key. DeRozan passes to Pirtle. Over Thompson. And again, no good by Toronto. Well, they know not to leave him open from mid-range, and they're all over him on that shot. Pirtle with the steal. And here's the fast break. Here's DeRozan. Look at that jam. Get out of the way. But DeMar DeRozan says, I've got a little showman in me. My goodness gracious, sets the crowd on fire with that one. Thompson sets the pick for LeBron. Green, the screen. Corver with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. LeBron dishes to Corver. Just five on the clock. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Both teams will make substitutions. James outside. Outside, Green. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And that's 12 points for Jeff Green. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Passes it to Ananobi. The feed now to DeRozan. It's stolen by Smith. Kicks it to LeBron. Back to Smith. The tray. Nogueira pulls it in. Nogueira's got five rebounds tonight. A wide open look here for Wright. It's good from long range. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Smith outside. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? And Wright kicks to Nogueira. DeRozan against Smith from 13. And it's DeRozan missing. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Outside Thomas. And he makes good on the layup. Isaiah Thomas may not be the biggest, baddest dude on the floor, but that doesn't keep him from battling through contact. Nicely done. On the wing, DeRozan. Nogueira passes to DeRozan. And count it, and a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. And so here's Cleveland. Now Green. Toronto grabs the miss. Ananobi's got six rebounds here tonight. He feeds it to right. He 
dishes it to Miles. Shot clock at six. A three. They get it back. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Nogueira. Nogueira's got three assists now in this one. Right against Thomas. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And Isaiah Thomas, the 60th and final pick of the 2011 draft. Uh, Greg, he definitely plays with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, I call it the little man syndrome. <laughs> he's driven to prove himself. I mean, he's overcome the odds. In, in league history, only nine players, 5'9 or shorter, have played 1,000 minutes or more in a season. And he's not just playing. He's playing at the highest level. And the first one at the line is good. I'm surprised he didn't choose number 60. Remember, the last pick in the draft, that's the number he went, but he continues to play with that chip on his shoulder. Both free throws good from Isaiah Thomas. And, and for Isaiah Thomas, he shouldn't have too much of an issue fitting in with the Cavs. I mean, he played AAU with Kevin Love. He can distribute and score. Same role as Irving had when he was with the Cavs. And finished off by DeRozan. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. Screen by Smith. Thomas against Wright. Thomas kicks to James. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. 30 points for LeBron. And really what it comes down to is great players finding ways to make it work. IT has been getting it done for quite some time. Knows he moved into an incredible opportunity with the Cavs. Back to DeRozan. There's a screen. Let's it go from 14. Rebound Love. Love's got six rebounds in the game. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Cavaliers. They enjoyed a big boost from the strong play of their bench. The, the subs came in and did their job. Those points off the bench were key to their What's victory. Up? The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. There isn't much else you want from someone. He gave it his all and was rewarded with a triple-double. One shot, gentlemen. That's good from Green. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Here's Nogueira. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Thomas against Wright. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. Toronto's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. And he makes the bucket, drew contact, and gets the whistle, too. And, guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Right. Frustrating for sure, Greg. I don't think they'll be able to mount a comeback at this point.
free throw good Miles. You know, Kevin, I don't think you can put a price on the experience C.J. Miles brings to the table. He is such a valuable contributor on both ends of the floor. Thomas dishes to LeBron. Inside, lets it go from 11. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Running up the score, showing no mercy. At this point, they're completely overwhelming them. The opposition looks totally defeated. And they double up DeRozan. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Miles against James. Green left side. Outside for Thomas. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. LeBron, what was the defensive focus individually and as a team, and how do you think you guys executed it? It's a tough team to guard off the bounce. They're so athletic, they're so quick, but uh, that's a good job by all of us defensively, and uh, it's always good uh, to get a win on the road. Row wins do tend to be more precious. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.